Hi, it's Mrs. Aldrich again. Do you like to go to the beach? Well, I do. And today's story is by a famous author, Eric Carle. And this one is of an ocean animal and it is called Mr. Seahorse. I love the illustrations, all watercoloring. Mr. Seahorse, written by Eric Carle. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that way. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. And seahorses really do do that. The mom lays the eggs into the dad's pouch and he carries them. So it is a true fact about them. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in the patch of reeds. So here's some reeds and I'll move the page and look what you can see. These are called trumpet fish. Isn't that cool how they hide and camouflage in like that? And do you notice his belly looks a little bigger, old Mr. Seahorse? But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Ah, oh, delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest. And right away, Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. We'll keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse. And he swam on his way. These are other fish that carry the eggs too. The dogs do. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. Notice Mr. Seahorse belly's getting bigger and then here's the lionfish. They're very poisonous. It's a lionfish hiding behind coral. Isn't that cool? <laughs> but before long, Mr. Seahorse met yet another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? said Mr. Seahorse. But Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia laid her eggs, and now you're taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. <laughs> you must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse, and he swam on his way. Wouldn't that be strange if you had to carry eggs in your mouth until they hatched? Oh my. And not to eat them? Wow. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a pair of leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. Notice his belly's getting bigger. They're in his pouch. They're not actually inside of his belly. They have a pouch like a kangaroo. So look at, here we go. Here's the leaf fish. You see how they camouflage? Isn't that cool? There's some leaf fish. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met yet another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs and have them stuck on my head. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. Well, you're doing a great job, said Mr. Seahorse, and he swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a stonefish that was hidden behind a rock. So here's the rock, and here is a stonefish. Whee. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met yet another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along my belly. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. You should be proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse and he swam on his way. Oh gosh, look how big his belly is now. All those babies. And then these are the little eggs they laying up across the pipe fish just like that. 
But before long, Mr. Seahorse yet met yet another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs on my eggs until they've hatched. Look at it, now I'm babysitting. Well, you're doing a fine job, said Mr. Seahorse, and he swam on his way. So look at the bull, Mr. Bullhead here. His babies have already hatched. So he had the eggs and now he's babysitting with all his little baby fish. The time had come for Mr. Seahorse to have the babies. He doesn't really have them, they just hatch. Time for the babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. And at last, the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to come back into the pouch. Oh, no, you don't, said Mr. Seahorse. I do love you, but now you're ready to be on your own. And that is true. Once the uh, baby seahorses are out of the pouch, they don't go back in like kangaroos, other marsupials. They just stay out. Aww. So he did a good job taking care of all of those eggs. And it is true. These, these had facts about seahorses. I hope you enjoyed our story. I'll see you next time.